Ally is a program that runs in the background of every Canvas course. The purpose of this software is to aid instructors in making their courses ADA accessible. Thankfully, the software is easy to use and very intuitive. Ally will automatically generate alternative formats for a lot of the content that instructors upload. However, there are some instances where the instructor has to work with Ally to bring the content to 100% ADA accessibility. To get started, go to the Settings tab, then go to the Navigation tab. Then find the bar that says Accessibility Report. Make sure that that bar is dragged to the top portion of the list so that it will appear visible in the Canvas menu bar on the side. Dragging items to the bottom portion of this list will take them off the menu bar. When you click on the Accessibility Report section on the left-hand Canvas menu bar, you will be able to see an overview of your Canvas course in terms of its ADA compliance. This section here offers a breakdown of the different file types in your course. This section here tells you exactly which bits of content are not ADA compliant. It gives you the option to fix the easiest issues first, or you could fix the content that has the lowest compliance score. If you continue to scroll down in this section, it will tell you all the bits of content that remain a compliance issue. The accessibility compliance scores look like this. Every piece of content in your Canvas course, whether it be a Word document, PDF, PowerPoint, or a figure, has an Ally accessibility compliance score. The goal is for the score to be as high as possible for each piece of content, which will increase the overall course accessibility compliance score. The best way to make the course ADA compliant is to look at this file section first. Many times, instructors like to modify course content and re-upload it straight into the section where students can find the material. However, every time you do that, Canvas creates a copy of the file. Here you can see that this statics file has been modified several times and re-uploaded in the wrong location. Since there are three of the same files here, the Ally report will count every file against the compliance score, even if the files are all the same. The quickest way to boost the Ally Accessibility Score is to delete the duplicates from the file section that you no longer need. Get in the habit of making sure that there aren't any duplicate files being saved by Canvas. If you click on these icons here, it'll tell you the Ally Score and exactly what's wrong with each specific file. Here's an example of a piece of content with an accessibility issue. You can see that Ally is telling us that this Word document has low contrast. The best contrast is black text on a white background. This will help the Ally software identify what exactly is written on the Word document. To fix this, simply go back into the Word document and make sure the contrast is as good as possible. Then re-upload the file. When you modify and re-upload documents, even if you are modifying something that has nothing to do with ADA compliance, make sure that you re-upload it to this file section of Canvas. Another major issue that the Ally software identifies is figure and images that do not contain a description. Make sure that you write a well thought out description that accurately articulates what is happening in the picture. For example, this image only has a 25% score because it is missing an image description. Once you add an image description, you can see that the score goes to 100%. If you have an image in your Canvas course that is purely decorative, then you can select this button down here to tell the Ally program that the purpose of this picture is to enhance the aesthetics of the course interface. If you ever change your mind, you can go back in and write a description for this image. Now let's look at this PDF. Ally is telling us that we need to add descriptions to these images in the PDF. We will also look at how to add headings to the titles and subtitles of the document. The best way to fix this is to go back into the original Word document that the PDF was generated from. So let's fix this file. Let's start by adding a description to this image. Right click on the image and select Edit Alt Text. Then in this box, add a description for the image. You don't have to click anything after you add the description. Just save the Word document and re-upload it properly into Canvas. You could also auto-generate a description with this button here. Next, let's work on making sure the headers are properly done. Highlight the text that you want to make the heading. Then in the Style section, select Heading 1. You could also right-click Heading 1 and then click on Update Heading 1 to match selection. It is very important that you label the headings in numerical order. For example, the main title of the document should always be Heading 1. Then as you go down, the titles for the subsections should be Heading 2. The body of the text should use this normal style, and that is the default of Microsoft Word. Then, for this subheading, we're going to make it Heading 2 again. 
So to review, the main title should always be heading 1, and the subsequent headings should be heading 2, and then perhaps heading 3, so make sure you follow that convention. Remember that it is always best to simply modify the original Word document and then re-upload that file to Canvas. If you have a scanned document that is handwritten, then unfortunately you have to type the document on Microsoft Word and re-upload it. Any equations have to be created with the Equations function in the Insert tab in Microsoft Word. Lastly, the major issue in PowerPoint, apart from writing a description for all the images, is to make sure that the contrast is strong. You could do that by changing the theme in the Design tab in PowerPoint, or change the colors in the slide. If you have any more questions about the Ally software, or need help with your specific Canvas course, you could email me at bagui020 at fiu.edu. Thank you, and good luck.